Hi guys, this is Shamit Seed and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can transfer footages and photos from your iPhone to a Windows PC or an Android phone wirelessly without using any wire or iTunes. And this process is very easy and it will work for any iPhone. So without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, you will have to install this app, which is Wi-Fi Photo on your iPhone, which is a free app on the App Store and uh, you will have to install this app and after you install this app uh, once you go into the app it will ask for your wi-fi and uh, photos permission so you will have to give that permission and guys here you can see this uh, this is an ip address that this app has created for your gallery and you will have to put this ip address on your windows pc's google chrome or on your android's chrome and then you can access your photo gallery from any device wirelessly and you don't have to uh, install itunes on your windows pc or uh, you don't have to uh, connect your iphone to your pc wire, uh, with a wire uh, to transfer your photos and videos now uh, that the thing you have to do on the iphone is done you'll have to install this app and now we will go to the pc and i will show you how you can access your gallery on the chrome so guys once you are on your windows pc you will have to go to google chrome and type uh, the given ip address on the app in the search bar of google chrome as i have entered uh, but I will enter it again to show you how you have to do it. So you will have to type http dot one six eight dot two nine dot two one seven and slows and one five five five. Now after you enter it, as you can see, here is my entire library of photos and videos on my iPhone on the Google Chrome. If I click on recent, here I have taken some shots from uh, this video that you have uh, that you are seeing on my iphone so i click on this video i want to download this file i will simply click on download video file as you can see it's showing me to download and just i will click on download and as you can see as you can see the video is officially downloaded without using an itunes from my iphone on my windows pc so that was for a video now if i want to download a photo suppose i want to download this photo of mine so i will simply click on that photo and just click on download full in full size and as you can see it has opened a new video for the photo to be saved and just click on save image as as jpeg and just download it and now i've officially downloaded a photo from my iphone without connecting it to my pc now guys, I had already shown you how to transfer your files and footages from your iPhone to your PC directly using this Wi-Fi photo transfer. But for instance, if you have to transfer your files and photos to your Android using your iPhone, so you can do the same step that you had done on your Windows on your uh, Android so that you can get your files and footages. So as you can see, I have entered the same IP address uh, from the app on my Google Chrome on my Android. And as you can see, uh, here is the entire library of my iPhone. And here from here, I can click on any video or photo and I can directly download it on my phone on the Android. So guys, the only uh, thing is that you will have to open the app continuously while you're doing this uh, process. So uh, the app should be opened and should be kept open until you are done with this process uh, i don't know why this happens but i guess it's for authentication it wants the uh, it wants you to open that app continuously or i guess uh, to maintain a uh, great or a strong connection between uh, this ip address and the app you will have to open that app continuously uh, until you are done with this process so if i click uh, on any photo it will not uh, let me show you so if I clicked it, so as you can see, that site can't be reached because I'm using uh, the same iPhone for shooting this video. That's why it's not um, allowing me to see this photo and it's ref it's saying that refuse to connect. So you have to keep this in mind that you will have to open this app continuously uh, to get your files and footages on the Android and even on the Windows PC.